Cross Country, the middle event of uh, the eventing disciplines. And I'm here with Holly and Selena from Team Canada, of course. I had to find some Team Canada people. Um, Holly, so what kind of jump is this? Uh, this would be a brush jump, and it's actually a bit of an easier jump for the horses usually, but this is nearing the end of the course, and we've just climbed a good 200 meters mm -hmm. uphill. Um, so the horses are actually going to be extremely tired at this point. So from the course builder's point of view, he made us um, a beautiful just brush fence. So if horses are a little bit tired, they can actually brush through this. Um, but he is making us still stay true to our line because we have to go to another one and then to a skinny fence after. Can you explain the lines to me? Are there easier ones and harder? ones depending on the time hit penalties and stuff yes so um, this one actually doesn't have that much of a difference to it I don't think do you agree mm -hmm. um, there the one on the right hand side the C is a little bit skinnier um, but not much honestly compared to the left so um, to me it's just get on your line and go and and the horses are pretty tired by now Correct. so yep. guys I saw you doing some pacing can we do a, a pace out one of these jumps and explain what what that is I'll go between you and Selena, you're you were making the good little gushy noises with your boots. <laughs> so, can, <laughs> um, yeah, explain what you do as you pace things out. Um, we're pacing when we're connecting the we two fences in a combination. One, wow, geez, two, come on. <laughs> four is a stride. One, two, three is another stride. And these are and horses' strides. Stride. Yeah. Every four of our steps. My little legs just don't want to do this. <laughs> All right, so this is a little, it walks a little bit long, but because the horses by this point are going to be a little bit strung out, because as Holly said, they're going to be tired and a little flatter in their stride, um, it'll be nicer for them. They're just going to keep coming, and that's why it's easier to stay on the direct line and keep going to the C on the left as opposed to the C on the right, because the straightest line is the easiest. Once you start changing the steering, when they're a little bit tired, you can run into kind of like fishtailing on ice when you're driving. Right. So it's better not to uh, start to change the line. If you can just go direct, it's easier for the horses when they're tired. Out, out of the three disciplines, um, it, which one's your favorite? I think we all do this for the cross country. We are the adrenaline junkies of equestrian, um, but I enjoy the challenge of the dressage and uh, show jumping is probably my least favorite because I think there's a lot of luck involved sometimes. Right. Well, oh, guys, I wish you guys a lot of luck. Go Team Canada.